welcome back in this step let's first write a simple unit test for our binary search impl so we have this thing binary search impl which is written in three it's hard coded stuff but let's write a unit test to be able to test this one of the things that we have done is we created this project using spring boot and one of the things that would be present when we create something with spring boot is a dependency on something called spring boot starter test we don't really want to use spring boot starter test to do our unit testing we will not use spring boot let's stick with spring for now what we'll do is we'll now need to define all the dependencies that we would need to execute our unit test let's start with defining the first dependency for test first dependency that we would need for test is this spring test module so group id or dot spring framework and the artifact id is spring hyphen test that's the first one and i would need to give it a scope of test the second dependency i would want to add in obviously is the junit framework right so i would make use of the junit framework in here so i'll say junit junit and again scope is test and the last one is we would be using mockito for mocking so uh, the group id is org.mockito the artifact id is mockito core and i would want to use it in the test scope that's basically all the dependencies i would need so we are using basic spring test to write our unit test for now we are going to write junit to unit test uh, the first two examples we will not be using mockito at all in the third example we'll try a little bit of mocking with mockito in the previous sections in the introduction you would have learned a little bit of junit and a little bit of mockito so we will use that experience in writing our unit tests in here spring test is the module which is present in spring which helps you to write unit tests with the spring framework there would be a few compilation errors which would be coming in especially in the source test please because this is using spring boot so i'll go ahead and comment a little bit of stuff in here so i'll comment spring boot test and organize imports that's cool you should see the compilation errors disappear very soon that's good now uh, we don't really have any compilation errors so we would want to create a test for which class we would want to create a test for the binary search impl so whenever we want to create a unit test we would need to match the same package structure so i'll use this package to create a unit test so i would go to the source test java control n for some reason it's not working so let's say file new junit test case and the package i would want to use is com in 28 minutes basic that's the one which you would want to use and the thing which you would want to test is binary search test so we want to test binary search impl so i'll call this binary search test i could have called it binary search impl test ideally they should have been an interface called binary search and the impl was implementing it and then i can call the test binary search test i'll still go ahead and call this test as binary search test and say finish this would create a dummy test method which will not do anything for now so i'll just call this test basic scenario now what we would want to do in this test is we would want to launch the entire spring context and from that context we would want to get the binary search impl so we would want to get the binary search impl in here binary search impl so this is what we would want to be able to do so binary search impl let's just call it binary search and i would want to be able to write the test here i would want to call the method on binary search and here i would want to check if the value is so this is an outline of what we would want to be able to do the first thing is how do i make sure that i load the context so i would need to load the context and here i would need to get this value from the context get get this bean from the context how do i load the context if you look at this spring test module there are few utilities which are present there which will help you to load the context and write unit tests very easily what we'll do is we'll define this as a context configuration so context configuration 
input the annotation in and to this I would need to say what is the context configuration I would need to note. Initially we'll use the Java configuration to load this. So classes is equal to where is the Java configuration for binary search IMPL present? We will want to load the Spring in five steps basic application. So this is where the context is present. Let's load that in. Once you define the context, you would want to run it. So there is a runner which is provided, which would be helping to you to run this context. The runner is spring runner dot class. I'll import the run with annotation. If you go to the spring runner class, you'd see that this is part of the spring test module. So you can see that it's spring test 500 build snapshot. So this spring runner class is actually part of the spring test module. Context configuration is also part of the spring test module. The context configuration helps us to run a configuration and the runner would launch the configuration up. So here we are specifying the configuration for a context and this is loading that specific context. How do I get the bean from the context? That's the next question, right? So I can get the bean from the context by using AutoWire. So what happens is once the context is launched up, that bean which is loaded would be auto-wired in here. So now the bean for binary search is available. All that we need to do, do know now is binary search dot invoke. I, I mean, the numbers does not really matter because we have hard-coded a response back. We don't really have any business logic there. All that we wanted to make sure is to call it and check whether it's coming back fine. So this is the result which is coming back as an statement. I'll call this result. And I would want to check the result. So I would want to check the result. What is the expected result? If we look at the method, we have hard coded it to return always three. So the expected result here is three, and the actual result is this. So if you are if you are new to unit test, probably you can even call this actual result. And this is the actual result which we'll want to use. So there's a method in JUnit called assert equals. You would have learned that during the JUnit introduction section. Assert equals expected comma actual. And control one, add static import on this. And that's it. So that's all you'd need. So here we are calling the method. Let's move that down there. Check if the value is correct. All that we had to do in this specific test was first we had to add in the right dependencies. We added in spring test and also JUnit because we are using JUnit annotations in here at test and everything are defined by the JUnit framework. We are using these annotations, I mean these classes, Spring Runner, Context Configuration, everything is from the Spring Test Jar, that's why we added them in. We have not yet used the Mockito, we'll use that in a subsequent step. After adding the dependencies, we loaded the, first is we said this is the configuration. So we want to load the configuration which is defined by this configuration class. And then we are loading that specific configuration up using the spring runner. We are auto wiring the bean in, and then we are calling the method on the binary search. We are checking if the result is as expected. Now let's run this and see what happens. Run as JUnit test. That's cool. So the green bar, that means it's working fine. If you want to be really sure, you can actually do this, change it to four and run and it would fail because the output would not match. So I expected four, but was three. That's cool. Now I'll change it back to three, leave this in here. One of the important things that you would need to understand while writing tests is your test code should be separate from your production code. You should never mix your test code with your production code. That's why we write all our test code in a separate folder. This is called source test Java. That's where we would write all our test code. This would ensure that this code is never part of your deployable. Your test code should never be going inside your jar or a var. It should stay in your repository. It should never be used to deploy your application. In this step, we wrote a small unit test using Spring Framework. Until the next step, bye-bye.